Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's uh, Steve here. Hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and I hope you're enjoying the uh, holiday break and uh, early Happy New Year to you all as well. So um, yeah, this, uh, this is another World of Warcraft video. As you know, I'm playing World of Warcraft now, the new Dragonflight expansion and really enjoying it. It's uh, certainly the best WoW expansion that we've had for a while and I think uh, the consensus in the community in general is everyone's uh, really enjoying it but it's not perfect um, there's obviously a lot of balance issues at the moment um, which you would expect um, early into an expansion I think what Blizzard are doing is they are concentrating more on PvE at the moment in regards to balance which makes sense because I think uh, you know a lot more people you know do do the PvE side of content raiding dungeons that kind of thing as opposed to PvP but it has left a few of us PvPers in the mud a little bit and those of you that PvP you're going to know what I'm talking about you're either going to be uh, on that side or, or, or this side depending on what class you play so if you've been watching my videos and following uh, my uh, little adventures then you'll know that um, I have been playing warrior I started off playing uh, prop because it was just a, a lot of fun I know people don't like uh, tanks in PvP and I understand that and uh, you know it, it's fine I do believe that you should play whatever you want to play and have fun and ignore what everyone else says to be honest with you but I do understand why people don't like tanks in PvP and in my uh, video that I put up uh, last week people people were commenting on that as well saying they don't like tanks in PvP and I hear you and I hear, I know where you're coming from and it's fair enough but you got some good news tanks are no more Blizzard have nerfed them so all tanks are running into hiding including me um so um in regards to the nerfs i mean if you look on mma champion you can see the exact details but basically what they did with tanks is they nerfed the amount of damage that they were doing uh, sp with warriors specifically it was uh, the ren damage that we were doing it was insane it was pretty good i mean we you know um but the other problem is that I think they've done some it seems like they might have done a shadow nerf on the amount of damage that tanks are taking in PvP as well. Um I don't know how true this is, so take it with a pinch of salt, but if you look at like Swifty and um other people like that, they have been saying that, you know, propped uh, warriors or tanks in general in PvP now are taking up to something like sixty seven percent more damage uh in PvP, which I don't know if that's true or not, but I definitely noticed my warrior was taking more damage. But that could just be because um, everyone else has got more gear now and they're doing more damage. I don't know. But at the end of the day, you can't really, you don't have the survivability on a prop warrior at least in um, in PvP, and you and you, you certainly don't do the damage. So it's kind of pointless. So the the prop warrior went, and um, I started playing Fury and uh that was fun i've always liked fury fury is a fast spec it's good fun good damage but it's not a shadow priest or a demo uh demonology warlock or uh assassination rogue or even a demon hunter or a dk and these classes are just doing insane amount of damage in pvp right now and they don't die i mean i mean rogues right so you're fighting a rogue, you're about to kill him, you get him down to like 30% health, he vanishes. All of a sudden, next thing you know, ugh, in comes the kidney shot, you're stunned for five seconds, he's obviously back at full health, and then you're dead. And there's nothing you can do. So that's, that. that yeah, so, so rogues are really fun to fight. And then you've got um, demonology warlocks, which, if you haven't seen Demonology Warlocks in PvP right now, then go and check out some videos. There must be some up on the tube. Um, it's basically like fighting fighting a raid boss in PvP. You've got um, you because they they spawn like these mini imps and stuff when they're fighting, but they're not their pets. They're, they they just you know spawn for the fun of it. And then they got like their fell guard or whatnot, which you know has like the arms warriors. Um, like whirlwindy type attack thing which actually does more damage i think than the actual warrior version it's crazy so you see a warlock demonology warlock coming at you in arena with like this whole burning legion army <laughs> and it's just it's just nuts so yeah that that's kind of crazy and then um and then there's shadow priests i mean 
So that's that's what I'm playing now. Right? I've leveled up my Shadow Priest. I've got it to level 70. Um, I'm going to be running some footage in this video so you can see me playing my Shadow Priest. And I mean, we're not full geared yet. I, I've uh, only got him to 70 yesterday. I've got pretty much most of the honor gear between the honor and the the uh, world pvp set um and we're working on conquest and we're slowly gearing him up but it's it you know he's he's not quite there yet but um he is fun and the damage in uh in pvp is 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 pretty insane and they have great survivability they got siphon they got you know fear they've got the other fear like shadow priests are kind of nuts right now so i was like look if you can't beat them go to join them right so that's kind of what what we're doing um i'm also going to be leveling up my uh assassination rogue as well because they're you know they're just really strong right now so i want to play classes that i enjoy obviously but it doesn't matter how much you enjoy the play style of, of the class if you're just getting completely annihilated by these other classes that are so much uh, stronger than you right now it's just not fun it really isn't especially there's nothing like i don't mind losing right guys um i have no problem with playing a video game competing against other people and losing because i made mistakes or they played better or whatever it is i have no problem with that but what i have a huge problem with is losing when i did nothing wrong and there was nothing i could have done to prevent it and that's what's happening or at least feels like what's happening at the moment with these classes because they're just so out of whack with the tuning and again i i can only assume that that's because blizzard are tuning them for uh pve because i don't believe warlocks and shadow priests are particularly high up on um on the on the meters for like pve so maybe that's where it's all gone a bit wrong i don't know but apparently the the next update is around about the 19th of january i've heard something like that there's some stuff going on on the ptr right now so maybe we'll see some changes and balance changes then which which might sort things out a little bit but at the moment it's um yeah it's rough out there unless unless you're playing a shadow priest um a warlock specifically demonology um a demon hunter a rogue or a dk um you know resto druids are really good healers uh, as well for arena but uh, in terms of damage deals, you know, unless you're playing like what one of those meta classes right now it's it's rough guys um and you know i i haven't tried arms but i've watched other people and arms might be doing a little bit more damage than fury but the survivability still isn't there so yeah i'm just going to be playing my shadow priest for now and uh leveling up my rogue and trying that and trying to have some fun because i want to play warrior that is the class that i enjoy and i want to play but i am enjoying shadow priest so but i don't know if i'd be enjoying it if it wasn't so op so we'll have to see um but um i will leave some footage in this video of um of me playing my shadow priest and i'll also try and find some footage that of uh, me on my warrior as well just to show you what i've been up to i think um i've also got uh, some footage i recorded of my vault this week on my warrior didn't get anything too crazy um i got like a trinket and um a neck or something which um i didn't take but uh, i got the pvp if you remember last week i got the um the tier head well i got the pvp uh, version of the tier head so i took that for the for the versatility because uh i thought that would make me a lot harder to kill yeah they, that, that didn't work <laughs> but um but anyway yeah that's what we got in the vault i'll uh, I'll, I'll put some footage of that in this video but um yeah so what else um what else am i up to at the moment um i wanna you got this weekly quest at the moment to do these uh mythic uh four mythic zeros uh to get a heroic piece of loot which if you're doing pve if you're a pve -er, then definitely try and get that done it's worth it but for pvp i i don't know man it gear just doesn't feel like that much of an issue for pvp we're all gonna have the same gear uh in a few weeks anyway so it's it's gonna just come down to player uh skill and um but mainly the balancing of the classes so 
that's why at the moment, you know, if you're doing PvP, you really just want to be playing those main meta classes and getting the gear so that, you know, you've got your uh, your, your best uh, chance of winning. But, um, you know, um, I may do some of the, some of the Mythic Zeros because I do need to get my item level up a little bit on my Priest. I was going to try and get up and do LFR. I just, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm not really... Not really feeling it, guys. You know, I just I'm, I kind of made my mind up this season uh, that I just wanted a PvP, and um, that's what I'm sort of doing. So uh, I think rather than mess around too much with that, I might just level up a few more alts, and I kind of want to do the professions as well and level those up a bit and figure them out because uh, the professions they are interesting. They're certainly interesting, and I, I'll be honest, I still don't fully understand them i think they've made them very complicated and that might just be me being a bit dumb but um i mean i get the gist but i would like to understand them more um let me know guys what you think of the new professions as well if you if you like you know have been leveling those up and getting involved in them do you think they're better do you think they're more relevant now do you like the new professions do you understand them like really understand them and how they work and all the the work orders and i don't know um but yeah i kind of want to so i might spend some time doing that and um and then yeah leveling up more ults because the other thing is like when i'm leveling up my ults a lot of them have got gathering professions so i can get the minerals and the herbs and all that stuff to help my other characters with their crafting so i'll probably do some of that but um yeah that's uh that's about it for now really and then um obviously i do play like fifa as well so i've been uh grinding that out a little bit but um yeah fifa's a whole whole other argument um but um yeah i mean i'm still enjoying wow well, we are now um what about a month into this expansion and it is still good fun i do wake up and look forward to logging in every day and uh seeing what world quests are up and what what gear i can grind and you know doing the battlegrounds and uh solo shuffle we haven't talked about solo shuffle now I want to know what you guys think about solo shuffle. So in the comments, let me know what you think. Do you do you like solo shuffle? Do you like the idea? And um, how are you finding the queue times? Because I like solo shuffle, and I think it's a great. The way I view solo shuffle is it's a bit like LFR for arena. All right, but the problem is the queue times. Like I've been this week, I've been waiting. 30 40 50 minutes i think there has been a few issues the queues have been a bit bugged or something so maybe blizzard are working on that and fixing that but if it wasn't for the queue times i think solo shuffle would be great fun i really do um now i don't know how they get around because obviously the reason for the long queues is because of the healer situation because let's be honest any of you that heal in arena or sort of specifically solo shuffle hat off to you you guys are, are the real champions of this uh of this expansion but um i think that's why the queue times are a bit longer is because just you know there aren't enough healers that, that want to so how blizzard solve that i don't know because i don't think there's anything that you can really do to make healers want to want to you know do solo shuffle if they don't really want to do it um so maybe maybe one thing they could do is just make it so like you know six dps could join up um and you don't need a healer i don't know let me know guys what you think um but i think it's a tough one i, I don't know how blizzard are going to sort that but i hope they do because solo shuffle is really good fun and if they can sort the queue times out so that they're not much longer than you know queuing up for a normal bg i think solo shuffle will, will be really good fun to play but um yeah so that's it really if you've got any questions put them in the comments i'll do my best to answer them and let me know what you guys have been up to um you know are you doing pvp arena solo shuffle or are you just sticking to like you know questing you leveling up your renowns um you doing lfr you doing dungeons maybe you're a mythic right i don't let me know what you guys are enjoying and what you guys are doing every week on uh, on wow and um if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe that would be excellent and i will see you guys really soon take care and happy new year to you all